Hi, I'm Alexander D'Amico, and you're watching episode number five of Tremors. If you're wondering why I'm on a ladder, it's because I'm trying to find my co-host, Juan Malad. I can't find him, so I'm doing this alone. Anyways, on today's episode, we have some great tips and tricks for finals that are coming up next week. So good luck and study hard, Blazers. Also, if you want to get a schedule change, make sure you do it before February 5th, as they are the final day to do it. Don't forget to check out other Blazer Studios content on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. Welcome to Timberland Troopers. I'm Shake. That's Slim. Today we're getting called out to room 210 for a noise disturbance and unruly usage of electronic device in the classroom. So we're gonna head down there, we're gonna handle it, we're gonna see what needs to get done, we're gonna solve this problem. Alright, so we arrived on scene to the disturbance, so we're gonna just knock and announce, and then we're gonna head on in and find out what's going on. Timberland Troopers, open up! Coming in! Timberland Troopers, put the phone down! Stop where you are! With finals around the corner, here are some tips and tricks in order for you to prepare for your exam. Did you know chewing gum stimulates your brain and helps you concentrate longer in order to avoid procrastination and any distractions? Taking a mint can also help you concentrate, along with increasing alertness and decreasing stress. A little music can help emphasize the tone and atmosphere you want in your area. For a calm environment, listen to ambient background music or lo-fi music. Here are some artist recommendations. Studying with friends or tutors can be beneficial to people who need interaction with others. If you need a space to study with friends, come to Study Palooza right after school on Monday, January 27th. There will be a wide variety of teachers there to help out with specific subjects, along with free snacks in room 307. Hope to see you there, Blazers. Hey Blazers, I'm Anisha Torres, and with the new year 2020 here, I decided to ask some of the seniors what their plans are after high school. So, what's your name? Uh, Daniel Orfeo. Sydney Coates. My name's Cameron Hines. Liberty Hughes. What colleges have you applied for, and where do you want to go? I've applied to nine, but I'm most likely going to go to St. Martin's. I've applied to University of Washington, University of Georgia, and Harvard College. Um, I applied to Eastern Washington, Central, and Washington State University, but I'm going to go to Central. Uh, yeah, University of Oregon, Central Washington University, and St. Martin's. Um, what career are you potentially interested in? I haven't decided a career or major yet, but I know once I take the classes in college, I'm going to see which ones I like and go from there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to major in education and minor in psychology. Uh, either a firefighter or a physical therapist. Uh, at the moment, no, but probably a field in math and science. Thank you. Hey Blazers, welcome to another episode of On an Inn in the Morning. For this episode, we're partnered with Snacks with Max, and we're going to be making fried chicken. And, um, let's see how this goes. Today, to we're going to be uh, making some fried chicken. What? He's gonna sneeze. <laughs> First, we'll like combine yeah, yeah, the yeah, dry yeah. ingredients. Now, we got cayenne, that was, that was flour, okay. pepper. <laughs> Ian, stop. Ian, stop. What? He spilled everywhere. What? Ian, I oh. told you. What are we using, Ian? This. Can you, can you show me what's in here? It's this. Next, we are combining the wet ingredients. We have two eggs, some hot sauce, some buttermilk, and that's it. Ian, how does it look? Huh? Oh, it looks good. Okay, whisk it. Like, like that, you know? Alright, Ian, that's, that's good. That's actually good. Use two hands, you get two hands, use a boat. Yeah. I don't even know. 
Where do they get money? I'm just it's scared. It's yours. I'm okay, but put that back. Put Dude, they get normal. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Take it, when, when I do all this, yeah, say, yeah, yeah. then take this, and then the... Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah, go, go. All right, he's, Okay, make sure you lather the whole thing, spin he's, it around. He's, he's got it, he's lab. he can't, he's... And then, yep, yep, perfect spin. And that's yeah. it. Gently, exactly like we have some beautiful, oh. listening, oh crispy chicken right, with a little kick. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm Matt Stevens and I'm currently the boys golf coach at Timberline High School. I've been coaching golf at Timberline now for 13 years, uh, 10 years as the boys coach and three years as the girls coach. Coaching golf is really rewarding to me, uh, seeing the improvement with the kids over four years time, even one year, one season, I see a lot of improvement. Um, seeing kids enjoy the game of golf when they may have never played it before. My favorite part of coaching golf is building the relationships with the players, the coaching staff, both the boys and the girls coaching staff. Those relationships have are, are ones that I've had for years now um, and continue to grow those relationships. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you out on the golf course and if you'd like to try out for boys or girls golf, we'd love to see you out there. Can you explain yourself? Explain what? What were you doing the day of the water fountain accident? Um, well, I was a little thirsty. I walked down to the hallway, uh, went to the water fountain, wanted to get a nice drink of water. Not much to it. Your blood. <laughs> Do you know the severity of your crimes? Uh, um, perhaps. Hey Blazers, today we're here with a special guest, Officer Newcomb. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we just have a couple questions for you just to get to know you. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we also brought a little refreshment. 29 degree ice cold Diet Mountain Dew. One, two, three, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Lacey, Washington. I attended River Ridge High School. Well, I know that's not a blazer, but I converted. You chose the right path. We're happy to have you here. <laughs> How long have you been a cop? January 26th will be 11 years. What's your favorite part of Timberline? My favorite part of Timberline is your guys' new show because I watch it every episode and I love it. Um, and I like informing young people kind of of what their rights are and kind of what different crimes they may be involved in that they don't know are crimes. What's the most scandalous thing to happen at Timberline that you can disclose? Uh, what would scandalous thing be? Murder. Vaping in the bathroom. <gasps> I do try to sometimes walk in there, just only when it smells real fruity. Since you're a dedicated trail mix fan, it seems, mm -hmm. we have one last question for you. Okay. Can you arrest Ian from On and Ian in the morning? <laughs> no. Okay, well, we have another surprise for you. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> S N A G E R. Breath mint, breath mints make me Arr. Breath mints make me barf. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I just filled my pants. I just filled, filled my pants. My pants. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> you didn't ask me what phone I carry. What phone do you what carry? Phone do you I carry? just want everybody to know. You have the iPhone 11? The iPhone 5. <laughs> and that concludes Pop with a Cop. Excuse me, may I please use the restroom? Take the whole mess. Thank you.
Why did the grape put on sunscreen? No raisin at all. <laughs> I can speak time. It's my second language. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. What do you call a pencil with no lead? Pointless. <laughs> there once was... These are terrible. Thank you. Last time on Timberline Troopers. I'm up to no good. In accordance with the Blazer Handbook under Part 3, Student Conduct Expectations, disruptive conduct is described as conduct which materially and substantially interferes with the educational process. This student has been charged with disruptive conduct in the classroom. Also, under the Blazer Handbook Part 3, Student Conduct and Expectations, non-compliance with school personnel is defined as students disobeying the lawful instruction of district personnel. Because this student disobeyed the teacher's directions to put their phone away, they are being charged with non-compliance with school personnel. This is Timberland Troopers, signing off. Yeah.